Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. We got a new Nike budget shoe, but also not so new because again, they made very little changes and this is the Giannis Immortality 2. For those of you who have played in the first Giannis Immortality, I have to let you know that unfortunately, I am pretty disappointed in the second version. Uh, they increased the price by a few dollars, that's not shocking, but more importantly, the performance and comfort level went down from my experience. To quickly give you a heads up about the biggest problem I had. Why did the bicycle could not stand on its own? It was too tired. <laughs> my feet felt too tired after just about an hour, and I wanted to take them off right away which was not the case with the first version, even though they're so similar. So what might have caused this problem and how does the Immortality 2 perform overall? Let's get started. They come in the same blue box as the first version with the Nike Greek Freak branding and logo on there. On a first look, the shape of the silhouette is almost identical to the first Immortality, but this time it has a big reverse swoosh instead. Brands typically don't make big changes on their budget models often, it makes sense from their perspective to contain costs by keeping the adjustment at around 10 to 15% from one version to the next. Same as before is the very low cut, wavy patterns on the midsole, and a big curve shape on the outsole. The traction pattern is also the same as the first shoe. Those work really well for me, and I personally do play with the Giannis Immortality outdoors too. The herringbone outsole is holding up just fine from my experience. However, in terms of materials, I've seen quite a few comments in the past about the upper materials on the first Immortality not holding up well or even tearing apart. I personally didn't have that issue, but again, that's just given the amount of playing time I had in those, which may have been a lot less in terms of usage, just to be honest. And the Immortality 2's mesh upper is also pretty thin. On the brighter side, it is breathable and lightweight. My size 10.5 pair is only at 348 grams, one of the lightest hoop shoes out there, and they feel minimal on feet. With the Encore performance of the Immortality 2, let's start with the cushioning and comfort level. In general, I wouldn't consider them a stiff shoe, but it definitely takes time to break in. The curve also actually does help to give you a smooth transition, and the foam is pretty responsive too. But one particular issue I had was how tight they wrapped around my feet. Like it was just too much, although I got the same size as the first version, which is my true size. So I checked Nike's official product description and tech specs. It does say a plush foam package combined with a more focused fit in the midfoot. So that more focused fit in the midfoot and the tighter internal strap that wraps over that area is likely where the problem is, ironically. Now this could just be a tiny thing, but based off of my experience, the two fits tighter and I just didn't like it. The traction works pretty well. This colorway has a solid rubber also, not very squeaky, but it does get the job done in the indoor gym. But again, given the tightness in the midfoot area, like I said, when I was doing hard stops on purpose to test things out, my feet got sore and tired pretty fast and the containment for lateral movements really isn't the best. I don't know if this was because I've been playing a lot in shoes like the PG6, Harden Volume 6, uh, or even the Luca 1s recently, so the comfort level was just a major downgrade when I switched these on. And if you think about it, those signature shoes that perform really well, some of them don't really even cost that much more. Like if you spend an extra 20 to 30 bucks, why not just get the PGs or Lucas? or the Hardens because you know some colorways are on sale as we speak. With the fit, again, I went true to size, but to counter against the tightness problem, I'd probably recommend going up a half size if you were to get these, especially because they are also on the narrower side. And the support is just all right, but as a pair of budget shoes, I would say that this aspect, it falls within our expectations. So to summarize what I talked about with the Giannis Immortality 2, not much has changed from the first one. And if anything, these did not work really well for me compared to the previous version. So I would recommend not getting these. Like I would much rather grab the first Immortality if you can find a good deal or some other budget shoe like the Curry 306 that I just got recently. But please feel free to add in your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.